Hi everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen. My name is Alexis and today I want to show you how to make my sweet and spicy crab pasta. to show you how to make my delicious sweet and spicy crab pasta but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like cooking videos and you want to see more like this one then I upload every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 a.m. so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as I just mentioned today I want to show you my sweet and spicy crab pasta um, this recipe as always is really quick really simple and really easy to do I thought of it because we normally have something called Jamie tuna pasta and I will make that recipe so if you you are interested please let me know in the comments below but yes we normally have something called Jamie tuna pasta and I wanted so I wanted Jamie tuna pasta but I actually fancied something slightly different and I normally always store a couple of tins of crab in the pantry that we have so I thought about what would go with crab and I decided on this sweet and spicy crab pasta. Um, my husband and son really love this dish. I actually made it for them first before I even tried it. I think I was going out for dinner with friends so I made it for them and they really enjoyed it so I thought I'd try it as well and it is delicious and it's so simple to do. So I thought I'd share it with you today. So I've put a large saucepan on a high heat and I've added a bit of oil and I've spread the oil around the base of the pan with my plastic brush as I always do um, and I'm just going to leave this to heat up now. So the pan has started to sizzle so I'm now going to add my bunch of spring onions that I chopped up earlier and I'm going to fry these until they become see-through, like clear and soften a little as well. The spring onions have started to soften now and they've started to go clear as well so they need to be just like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two chopped courgettes so I've got two courgettes there and I've peeled and chopped them um, the reason I peel them is I have a slightly fussy eater who doesn't really like um, courgettes anyway so I try and hide the fact I know it's very naughty of me um, but I peel them and also Howard doesn't really like the skin of the courgette either so I just peel them and I put them in and I'll just chop them uh, roughly as well. They don't have to be any particular size or anything. And I'm going to fry these off now until they start to soften. These have started to soften now as well. So I'm going to add in um, two red peppers chopped up as well. Again, you can slice them any way you like. I like to slice them lengthways because I like to find red peppers in my dinner. My son doesn't but um, I'm trying to get him to eat them so I do keep putting them in his bowl but whether it'll work or not is another matter but yes now I'm going to fry these until they start to soften as well. In this bowl I have my herbs and spices and this is what makes it sweet and spicy so in here I have a teaspoon of mild chilli powder but you can use hot or medium if you like to um, and then I've got some ground sweet cinnamon. Now ground sweet cinnamon is slightly different to cinnamon but you can always use cinnamon if you can't get ground sweet cinnamon. And then I've got um, smoked paprika, garlic cloves and some dried origano, a teaspoon of each. And I'm just going to sprinkle these over the top. And I'm going to fry these off now. Oh that smells lovely. It smells so nice. Yum yum, looking forward to my dinner. So yes, I'm going to fry these off for a couple of minutes now. So that's been in the pan for a couple of minutes and it all smells really good. Um, and now I'm just going to add two tins of chopped tomatoes. So in they go. And I'm going to give these a stir as well. I brought this to the boil and what I'm going to do is add two... Uh, tins, I think these are 170 grams each once the water's drained, of crab meat. 
you can buy fresh crab meat if you want to. I just find this the easiest way, really. Um, so I've got two tins and I've just got the John West Specialities. This isn't an advert for John West, it's just the only one I can find in the supermarket. So I'm going to add the crab meat in now as well. And then I'm going to stir this round. And I'm going to leave this on the boil and I'm going to go and cook my pasta now. This to simmer, so I'm just going to turn the heat down and I'm going to go and cook my pasta now. So I've cooked my pasta and I've drained it, but before I add the pasta to the sauce, I'm just going to add some spinach and I'm just going to let that wilt down in the pan. And I'm also going to add some chopped coriander as well, so like a handful of chopped coriander. I'm going to add that to the pan as well. I'm going to mix these around now and let them all wilt, wilt down. And then once these are mixed in nicely, that's it. That looks good. I'm then going to add the pasta. And then you can add cheese if you want to um, and or anything else you like when you have pasta. Parmesan, my husband and son like. I don't really eat cheese, so I normally have this without any cheese on it. But you can add cheese if you want to. And then all you need to do is just serve it. Then. So I've just put a little bit in a bowl and I'm just going to try it. And I forgot to say that I've actually drained the pasta, but it's red lentil pasta. Um, I'm gluten intolerant, so I like to use pastas that are, have no gluten in them. But you can use any type of pasta you like. So I'm just going to try this now anyway. Hmm. Yeah, that's lovely. Really nice. Oh, I'd definitely try that if I was you. So that's how you make my sweet and spicy crab pasta. We're going to be having this for our dinner tonight, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I will link the recipe in the description box below for you. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. Do you like crab? And how do you like eating your crab? I'd love to know. And please don't don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.